Hey, there's the right button. Good morning, everybody. It is time for me to find my coffee. Time? There we go. Got it. Time for seven minutes in the morning with me, Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Hey, if you will do me a favor when you get here, if you're watching live or watching on the replay, drop a comment down there. Let me know that you stopped by and uh, make a comment on whatever you want. Do what Joe just did. Just say hi. Just hi. That's fine. Just look. I'm going to go ahead and boom. There, I liked it already. And if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, like iTunes or TuneIn or Stitcher or whatever, um, you can head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll take you to the Facebook page where the video is live and the chat is as well. All right. So today, I'm jumping right into it today because I got fired up on this topic this morning. Uh, opportunity. And I actually wrote down the definition, um, but I've got to go backwards here to try and find it. So, um, opportunity, right, is a set of circumstances that makes it possible to do something. A set of circumstances that makes it possible to do something. You know, words, so I've probably told you guys uh, many times before, when I lived back in Dallas, I had a business there. We helped lawyers uh, prepare and present their case at trial. And one of the favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite lines of questioning ever was uh, one of my favorite lawyers to work with. He got this guy... This witness was giving him all kinds of trouble. So he just kind of got on the horse and he said, Mr. Jones, do you agree that this is a word? Yes, I agree this is a word. And do you agree that words have meaning? So now that's kind of gotten me back to this whole thing. Words have meaning, opportunity, but we misuse words a lot. We ascribe values and meanings to them that aren't really true. So we see when we have an opportunity present itself, a set of circumstances, right? An opportunity is not a free gift. It's not a, you know, here's whatever. I mean, fill in the blank. It's not an, an up and running business. It's not a brand new job. It's not, you know. And that's one, oh, well, I hope I don't get too far off on this tangent, but we talk about, especially during this, these political seasons, we talk about creating opportunities for people. When what we're really talking about is creating jobs. Opportunities exist everywhere. They are everywhere. You just have to look for them. The problem is, as I said on the radio yesterday, too often opportunity comes disguised wearing overalls. That's a... Uh, an Edison-ism. But we, we get this idea, for some reason, that an opportunity has to be gift-wrapped in a box, open it, and boom, it's all yours. And the reality, it's not. It's only a set of circumstances. It is still up to me, it is still up to you, to execute on those opportunities. To take that set of circumstances, roll it in with some of your own effort, and make something out of it. And if you don't, if you open it up, it's like, wow, okay, it's like, it's like somebody giving you a painting versus somebody giving you a puzzle, right? The painting is a gift. It's complete. It's all right there. Everything you need, just hang it on the wall and look at it, right? But a puzzle can be just as beautiful. It just requires a little bit of effort. And it's that effort that's going to distinguish you from the people that won't do it. Too many people look at the box and say, eh, that's a pretty picture, and sit the box up on the shelf and never put the puzzle together. They have the opportunity the circumstances exist, they just don't execute on them. So, 
as you go through your day today. This has been a little bit of a sermon this morning, hasn't it? As you go through your day today, I want you to look at, look for, not look at, look for those opportunities, the set of circumstances that you can, well, to create a result. The set of circumstances to create a result. Doesn't mean it's all done. You just have to go, boop, yes, I want that one. It's a set of circumstances. Right? If the result you want is more customers and there's a networking event, there's a set of circumstances. you got to go put your effort into it in order to get that result out. So as you go through the day, just look around you. Once you know this, once you, you understand this, you'll see them laying everywhere. And then all you have to do is act on them. Hey, I hope that has been helpful. If it is, I would appreciate if you'd do something helpful for me. Click on the like and click on the share to share this video with your whole network. That will get it out in front of more people and those people will do a funny thing. They will ascribe the value to you, not to me. You get all the bennies for doing that. Uh, let's see, today's Wednesday, so coffee shop show coming up at 9 o'clock, probably. Ooh, there will at least be an update coming up at 9 o'clock, so be sure and be around and tuned in for that. And then uh, co-working night tonight. And if you are a guy and you are in Huntsville, then you need to be at the mob on Friday. That's coming up on Friday. You'll hear more about that as we get closer. That's lunchtime, 11.30 on Friday. So go ahead and put it on the calendar now. Can't miss it. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Talk to you again tomorrow.